my channel on Peril's Mad World and this is Peril. Today is a very beautiful day and I am here to meet a very talented lady Lensa Khabade and she is founder of African Statement. African Statement is a fabulous handmade jewellery company which makes handmade jewelries for the gorgeous women like you and me. So guys before we get started don't forget to like share and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell button. wondering that what's so unique about this company well this is an afro bohemian artwear inspired by ethiopian traditional craftsmanship so this is how the beautiful mini workshop lensa kabade has and this is how beautiful it is as you can see and guys i must tell you that she is a part-time jewelry maker she has her job but whenever she is free she is so fascinated she is so interested in this career that she has opted this as a part-time passion so let's talk to her hello hi thank you for coming and welcome to african statements um this is our tiny little workshop um it's also a utility room if you see any household appliances we apologize um, but yeah, um, let me walk you through what, what I, I'm working on right now. Um, you can see here uh, the different types of crosses that I collected um, throughout my travels within Ethiopia and outside of Ethiopia. Of course, not the, the crosses. The crosses are typical to Ethiopia, um, but these are a collection of stones that I'm working on. Uh, with the wire works um, and some paint work here something that's also uh, that I'm currently working on um, so yeah as Farrell you've nicely explained I this is something that I like doing on, uh, as a part-time uh, it's a passion project that started at a very young age um, I've always been fascinated by the African culture and craftsmanship and also um, colors and shapes and textures and something I've always wanted something to kind of uh, um, enjoy that that aspect um, of my love for those things uh, through something and uh, I ended up starting working on jewelry um, but before that before I started African Statements which is in 2017 um, I used to make my own pieces because I normally can't find things that I like so I prefer making them myself and I also um, like giving gifts to my friends and my families for my, their birthdays and, and these sort of things so um, um, yeah that's how it started. So guys this is how her workshop is. It's, it's small but it's nice in a way because as you can see she has lots of stones and other things which fascinates me as well that i should get something done from her linda sure. would you make something for me um sure why not you feel free to choose whatever color you like we can create maybe a a piece with a brass uh, bead or with the crosses or wires and and, and stones Whatever you like. Wow. It's your choice. So feel so, free to uh, pick. So it's my time to choose, guys. I would need your help, okay. Lensa, definitely, because seeing all these things, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I can understand. <laughs> so what's your favorite color? What, what do you usually wear? Uh, when I came to the bazaar last time, I chose something in blue. Okay. So definitely not blue this time. All right. Um, um, I think um, red. I think something in this would be good. Okay, cool. And like you orange. Can, yeah. All right. So this is. These are really nice agate beads. Wow. That could be nice. Maybe could also really work with your skin tone. I believe. I hope you will like this. 
we have these type of colors that are really nice that go with white and whatever color you want to pair them with um, so I don't know what do you think I think I would go for the thing which you showed me before the orange okay I get ones awesome let's make a piece also would you like cross on your necklace would you like some kind of other types of amulets like these are cute and simple uh, you could wear them casually how about a leaf or something sure yeah these are nice these pieces are by the way made by our local artisans um, um, throughout the country um, all of these are made by a wax method and um, like really there's so many skilled incredibly talented um, craftsmen uh, craftsmen in, in Ethiopia and I also want to highlight their work really um, these are all made by hand these tiny little beads are made by hand is it yes and apparently these brass beads are made from recycled bullets uh -huh. yes um, and these are also made by from recycled electric uh, copper wires Wow! so uh, it's pretty cool really fascinating um, fascinating type of skill that our people have so yeah let's get started with this all right Usually, do you stand and work or you sit? I usually like standing because uh, I could just walk around freely. But when I get tired, I sit. <laughs> and and I usually like working at night. My mind starts working at night. Uh, just put on my music. Sometimes sipping on some wine and then Ooh. get the work going. <laughs> yeah. So let's just. This uh, technique or skills, or you have just learned by all by yourself? Uh, no, actually, no, didn't take any classes or anything. I, I taught myself to do this. Uh, yeah, and practice can make anyone perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If you keep doing something, yeah, definitely. You'll be good at it. So are these stones easily available here or you get it from outside? Uh, I actually get them from outside. Some of them are available here, like these pieces are actually extracted here. Mm. All of these pieces. Uh, but it's really difficult to find. Uh, there are countries definitely full of resources with these semi-precious gemstones and uh, also like really high high value gemstones as well but um, it's I'm actually working on actually fully sourcing my products from here that's definitely the dream that I'm working on um, but it's kind of difficult to find pieces that are variety and uh, um, also turning them into different sizes of beads uh, it's been a challenge for me so far uh, but so, but what I do is I uh, collect these pieces whenever I travel somewhere outside Ethiopia. So these are like a collection of my travel experience as well. Yes, it's coming along. Yes, yeah. Can you see it? It's nice. All right. 
Give me a few minutes and we'll finish it. Meanwhile guys, she is making the jewelry and don't forget to like, share and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell button. You know right guys, what does that notification bell button does? It helps you to get notified of all the new videos that are out. So do it. She doesn't have a showroom yet but this is her mini workshop and you can always come here and you can choose something for yourself or you can choose something to give someone. And I have an offer for you guys. You can get 10% discount on any product you choose. So I would be giving you all the details in the description down below. I would be putting down the address, her phone number and other things. So please do check the description box for all the details. Let me just try it on myself, the length. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I think this length is okay. okay. Yes, Perfect. I can also make it adjustable so that you can. Ah, I can always put, make it, make it longer. longer if you want. Yeah. That would be great. Perfect. Told you it wasn't gonna take long. She has made the jewelry in less than ten minutes, and she's about to finish it. Finishing is a very important part of making jewelry. This part doesn't have to, has to be gentle on the skin, so. Mm -hmm. So here it is, the finished product, your gift for coming here and visiting us. Thank you so much and hope you like it. That's so nice of you. Thank you so much, Lensa, for the beautiful gift. No problem. So it was so kind of Lensa to give me this necklace as a gift and I really appreciate that. Thank you so much Lensa and African Statement for welcoming me here at your workshop and thank you guys for watching this vlog and if you have enjoyed watching it don't forget to like share and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell button and don't forget the offer which I gave you 10% discount on any product you choose from Lensa from African Statement. Signing off for now. Ciao.